Though he's just finishing seventh grade, R.J. Meehan already knows all too well how rough basketball can be. R.J. had to sit out part of the season this year because of a broken arm, and as soon as he got back into the lineup, he faced more challenges. I've pulled a couple muscles. Uh, actually, recently, I just got an avulsion, which is when... Uh, pull a muscle and it pe pulls out a piece of the bone too. And a new study by researchers at Nationwide Children's Hospital shows injuries on the court are not uncommon. Between 2005 and 2011, experts charted high school basketball injuries and found more than a million teenagers were treated for injuries by athletic trainers. But 1.5 million were treated in emergency departments, a rate that's more than 42% higher. There's a lot of injuries that happen that are winding up in urgent cares and emergency departments that don't need to be there. Carrie Waple says athletic trainers like her get to know players and work with them on a daily basis, not only treating them when they're hurt, but rehabilitating them so they get back into the game safely. The problem is not all school districts employ athletic trainers. In the high school setting, there are about 42% of U.S. high schools have athletic trainers. In the middle school setting, I think it's even less. Lara McKenzie led the study. She says while athletic trainers can't treat every case, they can make the system more efficient by only sending players to the doctor when it's necessary and only returning them to play when it's safe. The athletic trainers play a really important role in helping to assess those more mild or moderate injuries and that helps alleviate a burden on the healthcare system and on families. At Nationwide Children's Hospital, this is Clark Powell reporting.